nach, nach, nach Mittag und vielen Danken. Ich hoffe, mit diesen ganz einfachen Sätzen habe ich jedes überzeugt, dass ich würde gerne diese Präsentation auf Englisch zu halten. So, what the theme of today is, is the following. I was thinking on how much is the technology running fast. And in the same way, we should have to think that human being doesn't run the same fast as the technology. Uh, so all of us as a smartphone or handy, but my grandmother uh, didn't even have a, a phone at home when she was young. So uh, it's technology running fast, right? And our beliefs, well, actually our beliefs stands more or less. Um, Especially, especially in fairy tales that are pretty important for the communication. The child listens to fairy tales daily. And, and actually, the, the goal of my speech today is to restyle the story of the three little pigs. The dry, klein and schwenken. Kennen Sie schon, oder? I believe the most of you has already heard about it. So there are three little pigs. Um, the first one which uh, produced an ounce of straw, a second one which um, produced an ounce of wood, and the third one that produced an ounce of stone. They're great. Uh, the winter come, and the wolf come with the winter. Uh, the wolf blows away, blows away. <laughs> the, the straw one, and also the wood one. <coughs> um, and, and actually, so the pigs have to have to shelter in the house of, of stone in order to 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 be protected by the winter. But as a wood scientist, it makes me a trouble because because wood is great. It's the best material from construction ever. It's one material which is built by nature to stand as much as possible in trees. So crazy that that someone says that wood is so bad. But okay. Okay, yes, let's take a breath and let's say uh, in the moment that Mr. Jacobs, when he was writing this fairy tale, was not so happy, let me think why. And the possibility are two that nowadays are not more so important. So one is the limited fire resistance and the second one is the limited durability of wood. Yes. Uh, Fire resistance depends on the di dimension of, of, the, of the tree. And uh, if you have a, a big log, it will resist fire better than, than iron, easily. And, and, and wood protection with modern construction works pretty well. So <clears throat> what's the tema of my research now? The tema of my research is try to protect the wood in a natural way. So trying to exploit at maximum the materials that nature gives us. So due to evolution process, nature has allowed many trees to last pretty long. Some trees in America, the giant sequoia, can live up to 3,200 years, much more than our house nowadays, even though it's made of stone. So, uh, and which method does the, the tree use for protecting himself? But there are principally two ways. The first is the bark. The wood is, is uh, the tree has a bark, and therefore um, this bark um, offer a physical protection of the tree. It would be really fascinating to protect our wood with bark, isn't it? But the problem is that when the wood, when the tree is cut, it dies, and the bark split falls apart from the tree. So this fascinating idea cannot be really suitable directly, and then. Uh, we have a second way, a second opportunity, which is the chemical protection. I'm a chemist, right? <laughs> Therefore, I like chemistry pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, the chemical protection for the tree has been developed with tannins, Gerbstoffe. So, these um, substances are produced to um, avoid the degradation of the tree against light and against biological attacks. So the idea of our research project is to increase the concentration of these substances in the wood. So impregnate wood untreated with tannin in order to increase the durability. And let's see what happens. So the result of our research were very 
uh, surprisingly positive. So we increase very much the resistance of the, of the, the durability of the wood against biological attack. And we also increase the fire resistance. Bingo! <laughs> so just to give a short overview on the restyling of the story of the three little pigs, I've prepared a short uh, way in which an house should look like. So this is an house in which the facade, number one, is made out of wood treated with tannin. And then there are other um, material that we are developing at the University of Applied Science of Salzburg. One material that I like pretty much is the tannin foams. So tannin foams are completely natural material that are uh, very high insulation properties. And therefore, they might be a product that uh, substitute the uh, polyurethane foams. There's a bark panel. The bark panel, huh? what a nice idea. A bark, to the bark to be used. And that's glued with tannin uh, glue. That's great. To close the cycle, we have also a straw panel to increase the insulation properties glued with tannin adhesive. I believe that nature has done everything for us. We only have to exploit it as at our maximum. Thanks for your attention.